And so I thought I would start by just um, pointing you to some resources that might help you as you start learning about JWST data products um, and topics in future webinars. So uh, just quickly what we'll go over, um, we'll talk about MEST and point you to both the JWST user documentation and the pipeline read the docs. And then finally, we will talk about where you can go if you need help or if you get stuck. So um, here you can see the main links for information about MAST. Um, the first link is our Space Telescope Archive website. Um, the second is the JWST user documentation information um, about the archive. Uh, so this is kind of high-level information that points you to um, the two links below. So the discovery portal, um, that's where you would go to find any announcements or updates for the archive. Um, and then, of course, the bottom link is where you would go to get your JWST data. One of the most important resources for you is the JWST user documentation. Um, some of you may be familiar with this already from planning proposals, um, but it also provides high-level information about data, data processing and analysis tools. Um, so you'll see some information about MAST there, as I mentioned. You can also find uh, calibration plans and descriptions, um, uh, high-level information about the calibration pipeline algorithms and the workflows, and then you also have a landing page that points you to all of our data analysis tools and software. If you want more information, you can go to the JWST pipeline read the docs. So this is more software-focused documentation about the pipeline. Um, and it's essentially a user manual for those who want to dig into um, the design details or manually run the pipeline. Um, you can find installation instructions there, syntax and examples. Um, it also has in-depth details about data products, including JWST associations and calibration reference files, uh, along with the expected inputs and outputs for the different steps, which we'll talk about in more detail. You can also find more detailed descriptions of processing flows. Um, and these, there's many links for the different pipeline modules, as well as individual links for each step or package in the software. Um, and finally, the most important thing about the Read the Docs is that it's continuously updated. Um, since the documentation is stored in the software repository itself, that means when the software gets updated, the documentation is also updated. And finally, um, where do you go if you have questions? So if you are trying to install the software or if you aren't sure what to do or have problems, you can visit the JWST Help Desk. You would log in with your MyST account or you can create one from the landing page there. Um, a good place to start is to search the knowledge base for frequently asked questions. A lot of the Institute folks have written articles for questions that come up most often. Um, but if you don't see what you need there, you can always submit your questions. Um, in particular about the pipeline, you would submit it to the pipeline support card um, that I show there. Uh, otherwise, you can also find um, links for the different instruments or proposal planning tools.